<sighs> All right, gonna grab the coffee here. Wait a minute. Does that say Wolf on it? I didn't even know that was a stove brand. Anyway, another beautiful day out here at the ranch. Now today, as you guys can see, I've got uh, the truck and trailer all ready to go for us to uh, head into town. Now, as if I didn't have enough toys already, we're going to go pick up a new one. But I do promise this is one that you guys have never seen before. And uh, it's going to be interesting, sillies. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. So, yeah, I've had this thing in the works for, uh, for a while now. It's been pretty much custom built from the ground up, so uh, it should be interesting to see how this thing works. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we get into town. And here we are. Look at that. Man, this thing looks so much taller than I thought it would. Dad, come look at this thing. Anyway, so this is my custom built monster bus. This thing was built by Crazy Customs, so he'll be linked down in the description if you guys want to go check him out. But anyway, this thing is huge. And uh, we've got some plans for this thing today. I don't even know if this is going to fit on the trailer. I might have to get a bigger trailer. But uh, what I didn't think about is how am I going to get how am I going to get in? I guess we just jump on the tire. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's try to get this thing loaded up here. By the way, I want to mention, look at the size of the spacers on this thing. They're huge. Oh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to have enough room to get this thing on here. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Uh-oh, we're going off the side. Nope, it's not going to work. Oh, I should mention, by the way, this thing rolls coal. I don't know what they did to the engine, but it rolls coal, which is pretty sweet. But since we cannot, unfortunately, load this thing on the trailer, I'm going to have to get a bigger one. We're going to just drive it back. There's no way this can be uh, road legal, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> we're almost as tall as the streetlights. Yeah, there's no way this is road legal. This breaks so many laws. Anyone want to pull through the McDonald's drive through Maybe I'll pick up some people. Open up the doors. Hey. Jump on in. I'll give you a ride. Yeah, he's looking at me. Y you want a ride? No? Okay. I don't blame you. I wonder how many miles to the gallon this thing gets. It's probably not great. Or maybe gallons to the mile. Oh, yeah. We're flying now. The only thing this would be cooler on is an RV. All right. Just think what you could do with an RV. Oh, boy. We're going all over the road. Just think what you could do with an RV. All right. Look. You load up your things. You go camping. And we crashed into a fence. Okay, that's great. You go camping, you know, you get to the spots that you never could before. Heck, you could probably go camping in the middle of a swamp if you wanted to, because this thing's tall enough. I don't know why you'd want to, but you could. Of course, y'all already know where we're taking this thing. We got to take it through the mud pit. There's no way we can. Next to Monster Max, I think this thing is literally the coolest thing we've ever had. Only other thing it needs is some light bars. Well, we managed to get on the back road without getting pulled over, so uh, that's good. I'm sure we've had the cops called on us already, but... Uh, well, we made it. We're so taking this thing over some jumps. Motocross track, here we come. Oh, I'm going to destroy this thing so fast. Now, here's the thing. I neglected to think whether this would fit through my gate or not. Oh, boy. It's going to be close. Barely. Just barely. Yeah, any closer. And uh, we would have had to find another way to come into the yard. I can't believe that just fit through. This thing dwarfs everything else we have. Like, look at Bigfoot compared to this thing. Look at that. Look at that small little truck. The thing is nothing. That truck is nothing at all. Hold on. Will this thing even fit in our garage? I don't think it will. There's no way. Oh, maybe. J I, okay, it might. It might. I stand corrected. Okay, well, we're not going to put it in the garage right now. We got to take this thing out to the mud pit. This thing is way too cool and probably dangerous, I'm going to say. You know, Bigfoot was cool. Monster Max was cool. But this is a bus on a monster frame and monster mud tires. I want to call it Monster Bus, but uh, I think that might just be a little too generic. So let me know in the comments what we should call this thing. I want a cool name for it. All right. Here we are at the mud pit yet again. I think we already know what this thing's going to do. <laughs> oh, man. This is flying. And the fact that it rolls coal, too, just makes it that much better. Like, I think we need a hood stack. Oh, boy kind of going over to the side yeah we need a hood stack to this thing that's what we need there's not a hood on this but a roof stack uh oh we're stuck kind of hung up a roof stack yes that's exactly what we need we need a roof stack on this thing that or we need pipes coming out the back that go up i don't know we need something on this heck i could probably take this thing into a lake if i wanted to all i need now is a tow hook on this thing and it will probably drag everything but the tank just because that thing's so ridiculously heavy 
Oh yeah, who needs roads? Who needs roads when you got a monster bus? It's only enemy is trees. It gets caught in them. Like, like that. It, it just got caught in one. Other than that, this thing, unstoppable. No more snow days. <laughs> just put these this frame on a school bus or something. Be like, no more snow days for anyone anymore. You go to school, rain or shine. Snow or no snow. You're getting there. Every kid's worst nightmare is a monster bus. All right. Let's, let's take this thing over a jump. Let's break it. How about that? This thing flies, by the way. Oh, yeah, <laughs> not very far. Oh, 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 wheelie. No, not quite. I was going to be really happy if that thing just kept going with the wheelie. That would have been so cool. Unfortunately, we can't climb over stuff, can we, though? Oh, we can, maybe, maybe. Okay, well, that's realistic. <laughs> Look at this. If this isn't Rich Redneck, I don't know what is. This is the most unpractical thing you could ever have unless there was like major flooding. That's about the only situation I could see this thing ever being practical in. Other than that, the amount of diesel this thing has to burn is ridiculous. Look at this thing compared to my house. Look at this. Look at how big... <laughs> Look how big this thing is. I can't get over the how just ridiculous it is. All right, I think I have a new idea of where to take this thing. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we made it out here. Um, this is kind of where the swamp is. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it across this bridge. Uh, oh. Oh, maybe. Nope. Okay. Who needs a bridge anyway? We got a monster bus. I feel like I'm going to sink this thing. I'm definitely going to sink this thing. Okay, side note. Don't try to take your bus through a river. It may be tall, but not tall enough. And the fact that this thing has a front overhang of, uh, well, a quarter of the bus, it's not exactly great for that. If we can get across this bridge, that'd be amazing too. Maybe send it, send it, send it. No, no. Okay. I, I might've, I might've screwed up. Okay. We got it. We're across. It's time to conquer the pond that sunk the renegade. Oh, someone must be camping out here. Weird. Yep. This is where the bus is supposed to be. Okay. That's a little deep. That's a little deep. Back it up. <laughs> I really haven't been able to get a get a grasp of what the monster bus can handle yet. And uh, it doesn't have snorkels. So I'm going to say not a lot as of yet. Wait till we get snorkels on it. See, what this thing needs is crab steering. Okay, that would be perfect. If this thing had crab steering, we could get anywhere and everywhere with this thing. All right. I think we've had enough of the swamp for one day. Can we get across this, though? I got to get back home. And uh, currently kind of stuck on the other side. Unless I want to go back through the swamp. Can I get across this, though? Maybe? Maybe not? We're going to sink it? Most definitely? Yep. Oh, maybe not. We might be fine. Yep. We're good. Unless I get high-centered. Nope. Nope, we're good. Perfect. There we go. All right. I'll see you guys back at home. And we are home, finally. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Big shout out again to Crazy Customs for doing this rig up for me. Really appreciate it. He did an amazing job. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's see if this thing can actually climb over a fence. Maybe. Oh, oh, nope. Let's try from an angle. Uh, come on. Really? You got the first tires over. It can get the second. Yes, yes. We did it. All right, let's let's ramp it into the pond now. Got to get over the fence first. <laughs> All right, into the pond. Into the pond. Yeah, we did it. This is just going to be a nice little spot for the bus to chill out, you know? Just park it here. This is like his little garage. Little pen. You can stay in. Yeah, this is perfect. Until we hit the uh, lily pads. And then it, and then it, uh, then it jumps. Oh, he's going to go over it. Uh, no. Nope. It is done. It's toast. Okay, can we actually go across here? Oh, no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little, that's a little deep. Um, <laughs> something tells me that my bus is, uh, is not going anywhere. Yeah, I think it might be toast. Walking back it is. Oh, never mind. There's a ranger. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank.